We all know about a classic New York slice, a hearty Chicago deep dish, and even a crispy Detroit pan pizza. But here's betting you've never heard of Pittsburgh style, and you definitely would not expect to find it in LA. I checked it out, a spot called Gorilla Pies that brings some unlikely Pittsburgh flair to the city of angels. There's a pawn shop on the corner in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. For a taste of the Steel City, California. than LA's San Fernando Valley. Here at an unassuming strip mall next to a kosher bakery in a Jewish neighborhood, you'll find Gorilla Pies, where Chef Ben Osher is combining a wild mix of flavors you'd never expect to find on a pizza. It's a hybrid kimchi and sauerkraut. Oh, that's good. It's like a little salty, a little crunchy, yeah. a little spicy. That's what Osher calls Krautchi, and it goes on a pizza named the Rabbi. It's basically a Reuben sandwich on a pie, with his take on Thousand Island as the base, followed by Swiss cheese, purple cabbage, pastrami, and even caraway seeds to make the crust smell and taste like seeded rye bread. Jake Osher is Ben's brother, the shop's co-owner, and it's unofficial pizza taste tester. The crazier it is, like you know, the better for me. And that's part of the Pittsburgh style, right? Absolutely. Anything goes. If you've not heard of Pittsburgh style pizza, Ben thinks he may be the first to coin the term. Part of the secret? That's our standard pizza cheese, it's half mozzarella, half provolone. That's a very Pittsburgh influence. And if it all seems a bit unorthodox, well, read the sign on the door. It's Osher, not kosher. Ben's inspiration comes from an extensive culinary past, including a stint at a Michelin starred Indian restaurant and years at the high end sushi giant Nobu. Do you use what you learn from Nobu even in your pizza now? Absolutely. Japanese food is all about finding the best quality ingredients and not messing with them too much and presenting them in a very beautiful way. Ben's career came to a head in 2020. He was working as the executive chef at a hotel in Hollywood and lost his job during the pandemic. So he began experimenting with new ideas in his apartment, to the delight of his brother, who was living just a short stroll away. We got cauliflower pork belly, classic margarita. It was pretty complicated, and the pizzas didn't even fit in my oven. <laughs> I didn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, it sounds like a gorilla pizza. Exactly. <laughs> That's gorilla, like the warfare, but the pizzas didn't stay underground for long. We were playing around with names like that. I'm like, why don't we just do gorilla the animal? So we had the name, the branding, the food's amazing, and we we're like, let's just try it. Too much Selling home cooked pizza via social media, gorilla pies quickly gained a reputation in the neighborhood, and then someone called the health department. So I kind of took that as an omen that it was like time to stop doing the pop-up and go legit. My father just started doing research and found this listed on Facebook via a website called sellingrestaurants.com. Who knew that existed? <laughs> The space had previously been a kosher pizzeria. And though that's no longer the case, Ben told us maintaining the spot's Jewish identity is a point of pride. Tell me about that picture in front of you. So yeah, so uh, to our best knowledge, it is 1920 Toledo, Ohio, and we think due to the apples on the table that it's Rosh Hashanah. Ah. Um, and the baby, that's my great aunt. Wow. And I love this guy. He's my favorite. Do you know who he is? A relative, an <laughs> uncle. We'll just call him the rabbi. But this rabbi isn't kosher. No, no, he's still a Jew. <laughs> After meeting the namesake of Gorilla Pie's signature pizza, we went into the kitchen to make it. And just a few minutes later, this is smelling amazing. It was time to sit down for, for some you, slices actually. with the Osher brothers. We tried the kitten, Ben's take on a margarita pizza. The Green Monster, a pesto pie topped with fried shiitake mushrooms. And of course, the rabbi. Do you already have two down? Don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> this is my job, okay? Mm. For Ben Osher, the gig is sentimental. A former fine dining chef getting back to the preferred comfort food of his childhood. I'm inspired by pizza. Pizza is universal. You know, you hard pressed to find anybody on the planet that's like, pizza? No, I don't want that. Now, shiitake time. <laughs> it was so oh. good.
wow. I have so much envy right now. Like, that looks so good. I would give anything for one of those pizzas. And they're right around the corner from our studio. They're not say. far. They're here in the San Fernando Valley. And it's, uh, I put on about 10 pounds <laughs> after doing that story because the pizza is so good. They I also make it, but... amazing chicken wings just for the record. So if you want to stop by at lunch, get a chicken wing. Well, I love hearing about people who come from like a background of Indian restaurants or, you know, five-star restaurants, and then they bring it all into the pizza. And we have so much of that in LA. It's so great. I know. Well, and that's just his backstory of, you know, this is what they grew up. This is like their family food. And to have it and, and to make it as gourmet as he does and have it just be so good. And honor the tradition and the yes. history too. That's huge. Yep. I loved it.